very active tropical season and we have Monday Nicholas down in the Gulf near Brownsville Texas into Houston 60 to 70 mile an hour winds tropical storm Nicholas may never become a hurricane but still lots of storm surge heavy rains damaging wind isolated tornadoes as well as it makes inland late Monday early Tuesday and then there's always the concern for additional flooding rains across portions of East Texas into the south and areas that have had just way too much already. So we'll be watching Nicholas and its residual effects over the next couple of days. Back here at home, we have morning showers mainly across our north zone areas along and north of M59 through the morning. Not exclusively, but most of the wet weather is there and most of the midday is dry 74 at noon, a high of 78 and then watch out through the afternoon. A few isolated rain thunder showers, a marginal risk for severe weather. That's a one on a scale of one to five. So a weak risk for what could be some damaging wind, some heavy downpours. And again, I think it's mainly after two or three p.m. Here's four until about eight p.m. and we'll have some showers around and then tomorrow we get warmer, muggier and more unstable with a cold front coming at us. So an even better risk for severe weather through the afternoon and evening on Tuesday and the Storm Prediction Center has us in a slight risk, a little better risk tomorrow for damaging wind, deadly lightning, flooding rains and isolated tornadoes. Also part of the discussion is we're into the middle 80s uh, Tuesday with that cold front coming. Some showers linger into early Wednesday before we dry out for most of Wednesday middle 70s and humidity is down a little bit Wednesday and Thursday, but the heat builds back summer sun and middle 80s Friday, Saturday, Sunday.